It's a way of the Mr. Quickie, oh yeah. In mid-August, Mormonism's prophet, seer, and revelator, Russell M. Smallballs Nelson, told the world that the Lord no longer wants people to refer to Mormons as Mormons. Apparently, the Lord doesn't even care for the abbreviation LDS for Latter-day Saints. Here's the exact quote read with my very best general authority lilt. The Lord has impressed upon my mind the importance of the name he has revealed for his church, even the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Allow me to begin this critique with a bit of empathy, because I get it. The last thing in the world I'd want to be associated with is a racist book whose central tenet is that black skin is a curse from God himself. I've made an entire video about this topic. It's called Mormonism is Racism. But the reality of Mormonism's racist roots is never more clear than it is in the Book of Mormon, where God supposedly cursed the evil Lamanites with a skin of blackness, which made them idle, full of mischief and subtlety, and hunters. I knew hunting was evil. Now, in all fairness, the Book of Mormon does provide a way to end this curse. All you have to do is embrace the Mormon gospel, and soon, those people cursed with the skin of blackness will become a white and delightsome people. Whew, boy. <laughs> Even Klansmen and the neo-Nazis don't claim their racist bullshit was given to them directly from a prophet of the Lord who translated a hidden ancient document by the gift and power of God. So, yeah. I get it, Russ. That whole Mormon thing, it's a total drag. I'd be ashamed too. But what's most amazing about this latest impression from the Lord, who apparently has ended his revelation phase and now only does impressions, let's call him the rich little of gods. What's most amazing about this impression is its pettiness. Like the Hebrew God of old who couldn't be bothered to forbid rape or tell people to wash their hands before eating, preferring instead instructions on how to properly murder an animal, the Mormon God, and no, I'm never going to stop calling you Mormons, couldn't find anything more important to occupy the time of his living, sometimes breathing prophet than what others call his people. Of all the problems in the world, the Mormon God is most concerned with this. You're Mormons. World hunger, childhood cancer, the rise of authoritarianism, climate change, that fucking Cars for Kids song. None of those things were wicked enough to provoke the God of Mormonism and his holy wrath. But this, you're a bunch of Mormons. That cannot stand. The Mormon God is going full HW and drawing a line in the sand. We are Mormons, no more Mormon, goddammit! And anyone who calls us Mormons from this day forward is, is just a big meanie. At least the Mormon God refrained from killing the firstborns of every person who uses such vile nomenclature to refer to his people. Clearly, he's taken some anger management courses in the last 3,000 years. Good for him. Now if he can just get that racism thing under control. And by the way, Russ, you just revealed how non-all-knowing and untimeless your Mormon God is. He's supposed to be all-knowing and outside time, and he's just now bothered enough to say something, excuse me, leave you with the mental impression about how much he dislikes the term Mormon? Really? He knew this was going to be a problem back at the creation of time itself. Did he just forget to mention it to all those other prophets before you? When an all-knowing being wants to nip something, he nips it in the bud. That's the beauty of being all-knowing. You don't have to wait around for a century and a half. Unless... <sighs> Russ. Small balls. This is just you, isn't it? God doesn't give a shit about this stuff, does he? Have you guys been putting us on this whole time? O.M. Elohim. I think we've all just been punked. Whatever the case, just know this. If you bow down before the horniest prophet in history, if you believe that black skin is a curse from God, if you embrace the idea that women should not hold leadership positions in the church and that homosexual love is Satan-inspired, if all of that fits, there's still only one word to describe you. You are a Mormon. And I, well, I will always be a foreman. Because for Coach Colds has absolutely no ring to it whatsoever.
If you don't want to fall immediately into love, look away. If you don't want to awaken a desire for satire, look away. If you don't want to be seduced by enlightening content, please look away. Support the Mr. Deity channel at Patreon and PayPal so you don't ever have to look away. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Look away. Look away. <laughs>